Welcome, folks, one and all, to Let's Play Eye of the Beholder 2 The Legend of Dark Moon, released in 1991 for the PC, Amiga, FM Towns Computers, and the PC 98. This version I'm playing is the MS DOS version. Developed by Westwood Associates and published by SSI, Eye of the Beholder 2 is a role playing game, specifically a dungeon crawler, that takes place an indeterminate amount of time, but not too long a distance of time, after Eye of the Beholder 1. To summarise what happened in Eye of the Beholder 1, the party, Valendra the Paladin, Lilam for the Cleric, Rune the Wizard, and Sandstar the Thief, went into the sewers beneath Waterdeep. Monsters were coming out of the sewers beneath Waterdeep, and we needed to find out what was going on, and deal with the monsters. We found out that there was a Beholder who was trying to rouse a kind of army to rise up and take over Waterdeep. We were able to avert a conflict there, and deal with the Beholder by pushing the Beholder into a spike trap that was in the very room that it was waiting for us in. You'd think the Beholder would be smart enough to realise that that might have been a danger, but its loss was our gain, and the party were victorious. They returned to the surface, were heralded as heroes, and probably got a big reward and lots of recognition and fame. During the time between Eye of the Beholder 1 and 2, the party have made their acquaintances with Kelban Blackstaff Arunson, the Archmage of Waterdeep. And it is Kelban that has asked the party to go to the Temple of Dark Moon. Kelban is worried about what's going on there. He suspects evil shenanigans, and Kelban is a pretty good judge of when evil shenanigans is going on. So he sent the party over to the area close to the Temple of Dark Moon to go and investigate, and if they can, find out what happened to Amber, the scout that Kelban sent out to go and investigate the temple. There are many things that we can do to start the game. We could load a game in progress. The only uh, game in progress right now is the uh, quick start party, which we're not going to be using. We could start a completely new party, but we could also transfer our Eye of the Beholder 1 party over. This confers a number of advantages, the main advantage being that we will keep our levels, our stats, and a lot of our equipment. Not all of our equipment, but most of it. And hey, we want to see the continuing adventures of the party after all, so let us transfer over the party from Eye of the Beholder 1. You may only take four characters on your adventure. Select OK when you are finished choosing your party. Note that we can take a Kiergar and Tag Hall with us if we want to. We could entirely get rid of Sandstar, or Valendra, or any of the original four. But we're not going to. We're going to take Valendra, the Human Paladin, level 7. Lilanva, Valendra's sister, and a Half-Elf Cleric, level 7. Rune. A human mage, level 8. And finally, but definitely not leastly, Sandstar, a gnome thief, also level 8. Okay, items which are not useful or unbalance the game will be deleted. Got it. And the game starts. Most of this game does not have music, but there are some moments where there is music, and also there is an enemy that likely will come quite close. But before we do anything, and before we even give the party a chance to talk, let us sort out our spells, because one thing the game does not carry over is if you had any spells prepared. We're going to have a number of magic missiles ready, and we're going to have a detect magic. We're going to have uh, some Melf's Acid Arrows, and one invisibility. You never know when having just invisibility might work. We do have something better, but we might as well have that for now. We also want an invisibility 10 feet, we want some fireballs, two of them I think, and we also want some ice storms. The ice storms are really good. We can also pray for spells. Valendra is too low a level for spells just now, but Lilanva isn't. So we're going to have some cure light wounds, quite a few of them actually, and a bless. There we go. We'll also have uh, two flame blades. We'll have an aid, and we'll have some hold persons. We'll also have a create food. Starting the game with create food is a brilliant boon. We'll also have a prayer and a remove paralysis. And we'll also have a neutralize poison and a cure serious wounds. Pretty useful. Now let us look at our equipment. The party needs to rest to gain spells, fair enough. We have most of our equipment. Let us equip the flail to you 
and we will uh, switch you by right clicking here with Rune, because only the people on the front line will actually do any fighting. We also need to have a look at the various rocks that we have, because Sandstar needs to be equipped with only the finest of rocks. We do have a lot of rocks. There we go, a plus two rock, that is just a rock. I think we have a plus one rock somewhere in our inventory. We also have some things like plus five uh, swords and various things. There is a plus one rock. Marvellous. And here comes a wolf. Watch out! It's a wolf! Do not worry, I have bested it. You've got quite a bit better at combat, I've seen. I have been training since you have been away. Have all of you been training? I have been studying the secrets of the arcade. I didn't ask you, Rune. Well, I've also been doing some training, and I've also been working with the local temple. I heard that your adventures have been quite... interesting. What have you heard about them? Oh, oh, nothing. Just that you went to a certain place called Hillsfar. What do you know about my adventures in Hillsfar? Oh, oh, nothing. Just, uh... Hearsay and rumours, I swear, if you tell anybody about what happened in Hillsfar, please. We are not here to argue. We assembled together to commemorate the six-month anniversary of our adventure, and then we were summoned to sort out this problem, and naturally we all accepted, because we want to do good and protect Waterdeep, and definitely not because of the huge piles of money that were promised. I didn't hear that any money was promised for us uh, solving this. Yes, but money will eventually follow. With success in a mission comes lots of money. Is that all you're concerned about, Sandstar? Money? No! Fame also brings money. <sighs> You've not changed at all, have you, Sandstar? I think I'm the only one that hasn't. Now let's get on with this. I don't want to be teleported any more than I have to, so let's just go. And so, our adventure begins. We're going to explore this woodland. And, oh, there is a, uh, a wolf there. Fortunately, we are armed with some really good stuff. And by really good stuff, I mean a plus five polearm. Do you have a uh, decent... Uh, no, you just have a flail. If we can find a decent... Um, melee weapon for you. You can't use the plus five sword, but I'll have you hold on to it for now. Lots of things that we had from the uh, previous adventure we still have, like that dagger, this clerical holy symbol, various scrolls that we accumulated, this potion of vitality, potions of healing, a potion of giant strength. We have various wands, we have shields, we have all kinds of things. And so, let us move forward and keep exploring around this uh, woodland. There's another wolf that we can go and fight. Fortunately, we have that ridiculously powerful polearm. I wanted to have Lilanva at the front because Lilanva is quite well defended. She has a three armor class. Not as good as Valendra, mind you, who has minus two armor class. Rune, seven armor class. Sandstar's actually not bad. Armor class of two. In theory, Sandstar is better at the uh, frontline combat at the moment than uh, Lilanva. But we're going to stick with, uh, ooh, a rock. We could always do with more of them. We could use them to solve puzzles, after all. Let's stick with Elanva at the front. We're going to explore this place pretty fully before we uh, go to the Temple of Dark Moon. Now, anything here? The controls are much the same as uh, they were in the first game. Well, there's a wolf. We'll deal with the wolf in a bit. I've been using these uh, arrow keys here. You don't have to. I'm going to be using the numpad for the majority of the game because uh, the numpad allows me to uh, attack with the various party members at the same time. There is no map function. There's also a rock. We're going to be grabbing that rock, that's for sure. Also, if you've played Lance of Law, you'll recognize this sound. It's the sound when you run into something and you, uh, you can't move through it. Now, somewhere around here is going to be the Temple of Dark Moon. I'd really like to explore everywhere first, though. Absolutely everywhere, because there are wolves, and uh, wolves confer experience, and I like getting experience. We also haven't rested yet, which means that, uh, ooh, there's another wolf. You can see the evil in their eyes. I think they're just hungry, Sandstar. Well, maybe it's an evil look of hunger. I somehow doubt it. But it wouldn't do any harm to clear out this area. The bushes to the south look strange. Perhaps we should investigate. Hmm. Well spotted. 
Behind the brush you discover a hidden stairway. Do you wish to go down the stairs? Of course we want to go down the stairs, right? I agree. Let's go. Wait, wait, you're agreeing with me? It's always a good idea to check your surroundings. There might be stuff here that we want. It looks like a small dungeon area. What is in here? Leather armor. Might be useful if we get any more companions, which we inevitably will. Rotten food. Let us leave the rotten food. And a mage scroll of blur. Well, we could learn that, couldn't we? Scribe scrolls? Blur? I think you now have that spell, which is a really good spell to have. Worth coming down here, most certainly. I wonder what happened to that adventurer. Probably befell some terrible fate. Maybe he was wounded by the wolves and went down here for, uh, time to recuperate, but never recovered. Whatever the fate of that adventurer, hopefully we'll find that equipment useful. I don't know how we'll find the armor useful. It's a shame those dwarves wouldn't come with us back to Waterdeep. They had their own people to be with. That is true, Lilantha, but they were very fine warriors. You? Giving a compliment to people? And you say you haven't changed. I acknowledge that they were good at what they did. They were very good at what they did. An old, haggard woman suddenly appears from the forest. Her wrinkled mouth cracks a smile as she gazes at the party. Pardon me, can I help you? We have three options here. Also, that music that's very similar to Lands of Lore. We could inquire, we could attack, or we could leave. It can't hurt to ask a few questions, can it? So let us inquire. We are looking for a friend who was lost in this region. Her name is Amber. She laughs. Lost in these woods? I find that hard to believe. Your Amber has not come this way or I would have seen her. I do know of a small temple nearby. Perhaps the clerics of Dark Moon can help you. I can take you there if you wish. Yes, lead us. Are you sure this is a good idea? It can't hurt to find out where the place is. Oh, this is a bad idea. Lead us. The game is going to take us right to the small temple? That's not small. That is Temple Dark Moon. From here you can continue without me. I must return now to tend to my home. May luck be with you. The old woman turns and vanishes into the forest. Do you wish to enter Dark Moon? Okay, a number of things. That is not a small temple. That is a very large temple. Secondly, that temple couldn't be more sinister if it had like an army of undead standing outside going, Hey, we're going to conquer Waterdeep. And third, you called it Dark Moon. Immediately I'm going to think that this place is sinister and evil in some capacity. Well, shall we enter, friends? I don't think we have much choice. We need to investigate this temple and we need to find Amber. Okay, am I the only one that notices that this is 15 kinds of evil and wrong here? Even the air doesn't feel right. I agree with you, Sandstar. There is something evil about this place. We must be cautious. But we must go in. We must go in. I'll keep my eyes open for you. Just in case there are any traps as soon as we enter. That is agreed. We go in. After we've rested. Yes, after we've rested. We need all of our spells, after all. Well, all of your spells. I don't have any spells. And so, everybody has memorized all of their spells, which is important. And now, we go in. Evil time of evil. We do wish to enter. You are now entering Dark Moon Temple. Ah, hello, you two. How are you? There's also this, a stained glass window with D for Dark Moon. And there's the way out, and another stained glass window. It's a nice night outside. Let's go forward and say hello, shall we? There are two clerics standing here. As you approach, they bow slightly. The woman speaks with delight. Welcome to Dark Moon. I am Nadia, and this is my brother Joril. How may we be of service? Again, we have three options. We may inquire, we may attack, or we may leave. Let us be polite. Let us see if we can get some information out of them before 
we inevitably have to attack them. And also, why do you two look very suspicious? It could be because you're part of the temple called Dark Moon. It could also be the fact that you're trying to be way too friendly to some heavily armed people that have entered. But either way, let us do some inquiring. We have come from Waterdeep. We are looking for a friend who may be lost in these woods. Her name is Amber. Have you seen her? Joral looks quizzically to Nadia. No, we have not seen her or anyone else lately. These woods are quite calm, but it is very peaceful here. Yeah, right. Uh, I'm sorry, what did you say? Nothing. Nothing at all. Be quiet, Sanstar. Be quiet, Sanstar. You look worn and tired. Please rest and enjoy Dark Moon. They smile warmly and bow. So they're just going to stay there. I'm going to have to fight them inevitably, aren't I? Let's have a look at all of this. A red banner with gold trim. A fine stone carving of the four winds. And can we look at these? The window is quite decorative. Indeed it is. There's somewhere over here that we can go. Let's go. A woman garbed in full armor stands before you. She looks extremely troubled. Well, obviously we're going to find out what's wrong here. Why are you so distressed? Can we help you? I am looking for my sister, Calandra. She disappeared in a nearby forest last night. With Nadia's help, I have been searching for her, but I fear for the worst. Have you seen her? Oh, so it's not just Amber that's gone missing. Other people are going missing, too. No, we have not. Were there any traces left behind? Do you have any clues? Last night, we made camp in the forest. When I awoke this morning, she was gone! There were signs of a struggle near her bed, but no tracks were left to follow. Please, if you see my sister, guide her here. Nadia will take care of her until I return. I must continue my search. The woman turns and leaves the temple. Well, that confirms it. They're up to no good. I always knew they were up to no good. The, the Temple of Dark Moon. What does that imply? Well, why would you call yourselves the Temple of Dark Moon? Why wouldn't you call yourselves the Temple of... Happy Sky, or Joyous Sun. Dark Moon just sounds sinister. I'd hate to agree with Sandstar here, but that is an odd name. I don't know of any, uh, churches or religions around the term Dark Moon, and I'm quite well versed when it comes to, uh, other religions. The only thing we can do is move forward, but I'm not sure if they're going to let us. They will let us. We're doing good by searching for Amber and checking out the temple. Let us go forward. As you step into the doorway, Nadia clears her throat rather loudly. <coughs> Joral calls from behind. You are not permitted to go in there. The way leads to our private chambers. Only members of the cloth are allowed. Please step back, my friends. Well, you know what? We know you're evil and we're going to find out what evil you're doing. Really? Really, Sandstar? Look, we're going to attack them anyway. You're going to attack us? Yes, we're going to have a look and see if you've been committing evil. We're going to stop you, you know. We've done nothing wrong. Yes, yes, you've done nothing wrong. We're going to step forward. They are not going to like it. Fortunately, they are not that dangerous, really. Eleven damage? Nine damage? We're dealing a lot of harm to you. You have spells, and they are quite devastating, but we also have rocks. And we need to... Yep, that's one down. And soon the other is also going to fall. And we'll just hit you with a rock. No, we are not good at hitting you with rocks. No one is able to pry this door open. We're not trying to pry a door open. We're trying to defeat this uh, cleric of Dark Moon. You can have your rocks back. There we go, and we want these rocks back too. And not surprisingly, the uh, the door is now stuck. Now here's a question. Where did the other rock go? Have we lost our other rock? No, we didn't actually throw the other rock. Great, now we're trapped in here. Would you have preferred the alternative, which is going back, informing Kelvin that we didn't actually do any searching? I'd have preferred not to be trapped here, but... I suppose it was inevitable. Hold still, sister. You're wounded. We need to make sure that uh, that wound does not get worse. Let's see, what can I cast on you? I think a uh, light amount of healing will do for now. I think it is going to need more than that, Lelanva. It is a deep wound. 
Alright then. I'll keep trying. You should heal yourself first. No, I must heal you first. And then I will heal myself. Fair enough. I'm a little concerned about the fact that nobody else has come to try and uh, stop us from exploring. I wouldn't take that as a given. They're inevitably going to come and find us. We should probably rest. I agree, Lelanva. A good idea. Resting is a good idea. We can always recuperate our, uh, our food by casting Create Food, and we will do that in time. And so, when we come back, folks, the party are reunited once again. And they're exploring the Temple of Dark Moon. Also, look at all the rings and stuff that we have. Like rings of adornment. We have a lot of them, apparently. And we also have a ring of sustenance. And various other things, like these braces of protection, and uh, all kinds of other awesome things, like these wands that I held on to. My, am I glad I held on to all of those wands. We'll have a use for them at some point, I'm sure. And we also have Kelban's coin, and a scepter of kingly might. I wonder what that does. We'll find out next time, for when we come back, folks, we'll explore the Temple of Dark Moon, And hopefully, we won't find any evil in here that we can't handle. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.